You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Jordan Peterson, you up the bat. Bah. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. The kids to be free in 2023. The kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another Jordan Peterson reaction. We got instantly owns woke feminist who tries to cancel him. Jordan don't be playing that shit, yo. He don't be playing it. Anyway, let's see what he getting into, man. Let's see what he talking about. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Well, why is it empowering to sleep around? No, no, why what is that I'm empowering? Saying is like, I wonder I'm why you have so much like hatred towards women. I don't, I don't hate women. Where does that root <laughs> in? It sounds I don't hate like women. you do. I am a woman. <laughs> So do women have opportunity? Sorry, do women have equality of opportunities and broadly across Western societies? Compared to what? C compared to not having equality of opportunity. Well, compared to 100 years ago, yes. Compared to yeah. 50 years ago, yes. Compared to most places in the world throughout history, yes. Compared to a hypothetical ideal, no. Mm -hmm. But would, I'm but not would I'm very, very Would that hypothetical ideal be a, a good ideal or a bad ideal? Well, it depends on how you define equality. If you define it as equality of outcome, then it's a cat catastrophic ideal. See, this is something too. We know that the left can go too far and we know that the right can go too far. I mean, th th I would say that's the abject lesson of the 20th century. Both can go too far. And we kind of know when the right goes too far. We probably think the right goes too far if you had to boil it down to one thing when people start making claims of racial or ethnic superiority. Mm. That seems to be the marker. But we don't know when the left goes too far. And the left, to be frank about it, isn't very careful about differentiating itself into those who are pursuing a reasonable progressive agenda and those who have seriously gone too far. And I would say that when people push an equality of outcome agenda, they've gone too far. Even though it's not as blatantly horrifying, let's say, as claims of ethnic or racial superiority, right. the consequences of playing that idea out in the world are seriously not good. There, there may be lots of things that are wrong, both on the left and on the right, that don't involve the right being overtly racist and the left wanting absolute equality of outcome. It's a space surely in the middle that matters. And that's why I suppose people feel that sometimes your argument is almost sort of, it's driving towards picking the fight rather than liberalism would, I suppose, in encourage you I to, see, to take no. the best and we can have the argument about what's the best and what's the worst of everything that's in between. No, I, think, there's, that? I think that the, the left poses a far greater danger than, than your analysis suggests. I certainly mm. see this in the universities. Um, and the, the drum is being beat very, very hard, perhaps not so much here, but in North America for equality of opportunity or equality of outcome under the rubric of equity. And equity is essentially a doctrine that fosters the notion that e equality of outcome is not only desirable, but should be pursued as an, uh, an object or as an explicit aspect of public policy. The, the idea being that if the, there, aren't, there isn't equivalent representation of all possible groups at all possible levels of all possible hierarchies, that that indicates a tyrannical prejudice that needs to be rooted out. And that's having an absolutely pernicious effect on on institutions, especially educational institutions in North America. Mm. That's not a, and it's an increasingly widespread view. And I think it poses far more danger than, is, is than it, you think. Is it possible that views become more attractive when something is dissatisfied and when aspirations have not been met, which are reasonable aspirations to have? And you can then say that the answers are wrong or that they... Oh, distort. sometimes. But so I was trying to say, if this is such a popular view, to cite your example on campuses in North America, mm -hmm. it may be that there is something out there that existing society has not satisfied. What well, hasn't satisfied the ever-present human tendency towards envy and resentment? Mm. That's for sure. So that's all that's driving it. Not all, but it's a tremendous amount of what's driving it. Wow. And a lack, of, an absolute lack of gratitude for what we've managed to accomplish and what we lack of gratitude. Man, you can look around your life right now and see a lack of gratitude for the shit that you done been through and how that gratitude, being grateful, shit, man, that shit open up so many doors for you and open up so many new opportunities for you once you become grateful and have a mind of constant gratitude. 
Let's go, man. We have in front of us. The idea of the gender pay gap is, it's, it's, uh, it's so poorly formulated that it's almost staggering to me that people can even conceptualize it in this manner. It's not a univariate problem. It's a multivariate problem. Men and women don't yes. make the so same amount of money. So we can break it down money. and then we can but go we, through no, the No, not only could we, we have to. Mm. And, and we can't assume that just because in all situations women don't make as much money as men, although there are some situations in which the reverse is true, by the way, mm. that mm. the reason for that is prejudice and oppression. There's many reasons for it. One of them is that men are much more likely to take dangerous occupations. How far gender is socially constructed. Well, it, it, okay, so first, the first thing to do is to figure out what the parameters are when you talk about something like gender. So the parameters are, say, parameters of temperament. We know that they differ between men and women, and they differ cross-culturally. But more importantly, this is the crucial distinction. Well, well, we don't know because, I mean, I'm just looking at a piece of recent uh, research on the brain, which concludes there are not two types of brain, and there are, there are other researchers. Who, wrote, who did the research? No, it's the new scientist scans prove there's no such thing as the male or female brain, just so you know what you're yeah, dealing no, with. Yeah, but nobody who has any sense would ever claim I that there was a male and female brain. Okay. <laughs> These differences aren't Let absolute. Clear well, there the are two types of brain, and men and women are more the same by personality than they are different by a substantial margin. Mm -hmm. There's more similarity than difference. If there's more similarity than difference. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean the differences are irrelevant. So let mm, me give you an example. Right. So... If you picked two people at random out of the population and had to guess which who was more aggressive, and you guessed the man, you'd be right 60% of the time. That's about the magnitude of the difference between men and women. Well, that's 60-40. It's not that much of a that's budget, right. is that's it? That's exactly right. right. But, 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 and this is where things get more sophisticated. All right, so then imagine that you had to pick the one in a hundred most aggressive person mm -hmm. and put them in jail, which is what we do. They're all men. Mm. So even though at the midpoint, the difference between men and women isn't that extreme, at the extremes, the difference is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. And most of the activity or much of the activity in complex situations happens at the extremes. So men are more interested in things than women are, and women are more interested in people than men are, mm. on average. And those differences are largest in Scandinavia, by the way. So there's no evidence that they're socioculturally constructed. And one of the consequences of that is, is that if you leave men and women to make free choices... Well, let's put aside that Scandinavia is not just, it's not just one country, and it has lots of different cultural, political differences within Sure, but the point is, is that, and this is the fundamental point, is that the more egalitarian the country, the bigger the differences between men and women the bigger. I have no idea how one could possibly you rank conclude order, that. You rank order countries by their sociocultural policies mm -hmm. from egalitarian to non-egalitarian and then you look at the magnitude of the differences in temperament in men and women Maybe in those countries. Let's say that we decide that there are differences and we can argue whether it's about the average. I mean, who is the average woman? Am I the average woman? Mm -hmm. are you well, the average in man? some ways, probably. In other okay. ways, not. Right. Okay. Good. Good to know. Um, <laughs> but, uh, is it really all about their decision or might structures not play a role here? One doesn't have oh, to be structures completely definitely mad play to think role. this, right? No, no, no. What you have to be completely mad is to reduce the whole thing to gender and right. to assume that it's a consequence of oppression. Right. There's multiple factors at play and prejudice is one of them. The question is to what degree prejudice mm -hmm. or an arbitrary categorization, let's say, and and the lack of provision of opportunities for women is contributing to the pay gap and what mm -hmm. to what degree other factors are contributing. So there's other factors. Like, like I said already, men are much more likely to do dangerous jobs. They're also more likely to do jobs that scale. So for example, because women are more interested in people on average than men are, they tend to work in people-oriented enterprises and those are hard to scale and because you can't scale them it's harder to multiply the income men are likely to, more likely to move than women are men are more likely to take on trade positions they're more likely to work with heavy machinery they're more likely to work outside women have lacked uh, opportunities that they they've lacked the nudge has not operated in the same way so yeah, I disagree with that I think life is easier if you're a girl um, actually, yeah, I think I think there's a lot of benefits um, that men don't have specifically. It's usually like an excuse. Like honestly, mm. I think as a girl, you have equal opportunity in the world. I think there's benefits. Like for example, we have quotas for women in specific jobs that are given to us that aren't given to men. So. All right, so that was Jordan Peterson, instantly owns woke feminist who tries to cancel him. Now I didn't see the part where she tried to cancel him, but she was, you know, asking him certain questions about certain things that he believed. One thing I like about Jordan Peterson, he's very accurate with what he be talking about. 
he not just throwing out random stuff he done did his research he know exactly what he's talking about and he's able to if you let him if you let him he's able to articulate it and talk but a lot of people cut him off and stuff like that but if you let him rock he can get to what he's talking about and actually fill you in maybe you might disagree with some of the things he say you know what i'm saying and that's okay but for the most part i rock with jordan i like him and i like his motivational shit too but you already know what you gotta do man drop your comments below what you thought about that him going against a feminist who was trying to cancel him what do you think about some of his points in there but till next time man self-love and positivity fire squad i got you and you know it hey